Thunderstorms have been rolling through the metro area, causing some flooding. Here is a look at what people have been dealing with. You see a number of photos here showing that heavy flooding. It's impacting areas throughout the city, and at one point, nearly 4,000 Entergy customers throughout Orleans Parish were left without power during the storm, and a large concentration of those outages were reported in the 7th Ward. We'll have more on that damage in just a minute, but let's check in with your local weather expert, Alexander Cranford, for more. Alexander, good evening hey, Paul. to you. Yeah, thankfully, everything improving this evening in New Orleans, and even earlier today, our, we had a flood advisory for the New Orleans metro area because of those street flooding issues, but thankfully, it was somewhat brief as conditions improved uh, because the heavy rain really let up pretty quickly after that heavy, heavy downpour we got earlier. Now we have gray skies in New Orleans, and we are still continuing with a little bit of light rain, but notice it is light, not so many pockets of really heavy thunderstorm action over New Orleans or close to the coast at this point, although there are some pockets of moderate rain that would be in the yellow, but the green indicates really light stuff. So thankfully, we're getting a chance uh, for our pumps and so forth to catch up and water to go down in New Orleans after some of those street flooding issues earlier around Hammond, some rain coming down and then farther south along the coast south of Chauvin and around Grand Isle. There are some moderate showers. We've had a big high just out to our east, really pumping in a lot of moisture into the atmosphere and look at some of these rain totals today. The New Orleans downtown area got 2.3 inches, but look at the airport only a third of an inch, so it really depended on where the heavy rain set up and then eventually finished. Coming up in a few minutes, I'll be tracking our rain chances. Most of it finished for today and our rain chances dwindling, especially by about sunset, but we could see some more downpours tomorrow. I'll have that in uh, just a bit. And Alex and as Alexander was saying, the worst of the strong rains have moved out of the metro area, but not before several areas across the city received all too familiar street flooding. Chris Jackman is live uptown for us with a little bit more on this damage. What are you seeing out there, Alexander? Uh, uh, Chris? Well, Paul, right now things are relatively calm. Uh, it's light. No, there's a light drizzle right now, some light rain here at St. Charles and Carrollton. But for the most part, the streets are pretty clear. You can turn around and see right here. You know, people are just going about their everyday stuff, uh, guys jogging. Uh, the street seems pretty dry right now. But as you mentioned earlier, it wasn't the case earlier. A lot of people uh, tweeted our newsroom showing video of people uh, saying that there was some flooding on their streets. We saw some along Lake St. Charles. We saw some in the CBD. We also saw some uh, not too far from our station. So a lot of people are just wondering what is going on. Now, the Sewage and Water Board, they did issue a tweet earlier today saying that their pumping stations are staffed and their operations are responding accordingly. Um, they did remind people not to drive through any high water or move your cars to higher ground. Um, as the city of New Orleans did lift some parking restrictions. But a big question people have been wondering on Twitter is why did this again happen today? You know, it was last Wednesday when we saw some major flooding across the city, and that was right before um, the threat of tropical storm and then shortly Hurricane Barry uh, impact the parts of the Gulf Coast. So again, people are wondering why does this continue to happen where it's just a regular rainstorm and they're seeing some flooding in their areas. So of course, we'll continue to follow this and bring the latest for you as soon as we know anything else. But reporting live now at the Riverbend, I'm Carice Jackman. Back to you, Paul. All right, thank you, Carice. And because of the rains, the city of New Orleans has lifted parking restrictions. Cars can now park on the neutral grounds and sidewalks within the city. However, officials say not to block intersections, streetcar tracks, or catch basins. If there is ever flooding in your area, you're encouraged to call 911 and report it.